Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, my name is Ben and I'll be doing uh, these assembly tutorials. Uh, this lesson we'll be uh, doing a short discussion on memory, a brief overview. Memory is also another uh, crucial component to the computer's functioning. The hardware component is referenced, uh, is, is like talked about as RAM, which is random access memory. This doesn't mean that memory access is random, as so to say. It just means that you can reference any place in memory you like randomly. Okay, that didn't make a whole lot of sense, but basically it doesn't mean anything's random in memory. It just means you can reference any section of, of memory randomly. Yeah, okay. Um, data is stored in memory. Data that is stored in memory is kept in, uh, is, is kept in memory until it is overwritten. Uh, this data can be retrieved and modified using a addre an address. <coughs> here's, an, here's an example of a memory address. You've got, uh, yeah, I'm not going to read out all the numbers, you can see them there, but basically, of course, when you're writing assembly, you will not need to remember any memory addresses or anything like that. Uh, the assembler, or well, sorry, the operating system will usually take care of that um, with some of the lower level things. But anyway, data and memory uh, can be as large as you please, providing you don't exceed the operating system's limit, which is called the heap, the program's heap. Basically, uh, if, if you do exceed the heap in, uh, for your program in MS Windows, Windows will simply kill your process and clean up all the memory that was used by your program. Overwrite it with zeros. This is a rare case and should only occur and would only occur in the event of a memory leak. <coughs> From this, we can make the following statements. Memory can be used for storing data that is greater than 4 bytes, 32 bits, because that will not fit in the EAX register. Memory can be accessed at random, and information in memory must be managed by your program to prevent pro uh, problems like memory leaks, which leads to performance down, uh, degrades. Uh, memory will be discussed in a later tutorial in more depth. This is just a brief overview of what it is.